Okay, New York Stilo here with part two of T5s versus compact fluorescents. Now, in video number one, you know, I had a compact fluorescent light fixture installed on the top, and now in this part of the video, I have the Aquatic Life T5 light fixture installed into the system, and you can automatically see that there is a big difference in the color. So, I'm going to go into the light fixture later on in the video, but we're going to continue to differentiate compact fluorescence and T5s and eventually come up with some sort of an answer as to which one is better. Now, on to the, the differences. As you can see from watching video number one, the tank looked a lot whiter and yellower when I had the compact fluorescence. In this video, it's a lot more blue. And I can tell you that all of the bulbs on the compact fluorescence and on the T5s are the same Kelvin. What I'm trying to tell you is that in the compact fluorescent you see here, both bulbs, one is a 10,000K and the other one is an actinic bulb. So, when we look at the T5s, I have two 10,000 Ks and two actinic bulbs, but it's totally different. Now, of course, that's normal because it's two different types of bulbs. Even though they have the same Kelvin, you're going to get a different color. But I believe that because there are four bulbs in this particular unit, I'm getting a lot more blue. And I'm telling you, I'm in love with the blue color. Uh, um, I've actually enjoyed it for the majority of the day after I set it up. And I'm even considering to going to my 90 gallon and changing out the uh, metal halides that I have in there that are 10,000 K and changing, changing them out to 14,000 or 20,000 K metal halides. So I could get this kind of blue effect because it's really looking awesome. Now, you know, one of onto continuing to differentiate both light fixtures or both bulbs or which one is better now one question that always arises is the cost which one's cheaper which one of the bulbs are cheaper now when it comes to buying the light fixture the, the light fixture is pretty much about the same you're going to find some t5s that are more expensive less expensive than compact fluorescence and vice versa but when it comes to the bulbs, that's where T5 has one up on it. Why? Because in this particular light fixture here, once again, we're looking at this 36-inch Coralife Aqualite Pro. It takes two 96-watt compact fluorescents. Now, each one of these compact fluorescents are anywhere between 40 and 60 bucks. We're going to say about 50 bucks. So to replace both bulbs it'll be about a hundred bucks depending on the brand name of the bulb that you buy on the t5 itself each bulb is about 17 you can get bulbs for t5s as little as 15 bucks but for this particular light each bulb is 17.99 for aquatic life so we're looking at 17.99 times four we're looking at approximately 70 to 75 bucks just to replace the bulbs. Now, aside from the cost, which Aquatic Life, I mean, I'm sorry, not Aquatic Life, but T5 has one up on it, we're also going to talk about the bulb life. Now, whether this is true or not, I can't really tell you because this is the first time that I'm experimenting with T5s. I'm going based only on what I've read online, but it is said that T5s tend to last a bit longer than compact fluorescents. Compact fluorescents are said to be to last anywhere from six months to a year, when um, T5s are said to last anywhere from eight months to a year and a half. In my case, I couldn't really tell you the difference because chances are I'm probably going to replace the bulbs at the same time that I would if I were to run compact fluorescents. But, you know, big difference on that. Also a one-up on T5s because the bulbs last longer. And I could just tell you that so far, T5s are winning the race. But, however, 
compact fluorescents are just as good people do not shy away from it because they worked well for me for six years I was able to keep a lot of corals um, different types of corals with this particular light fixture and I've only made the jump to this particular light fixture um, the aquatic life T5 because it has a lot of appealing other aspects that really called me number one it brings one cord and that one cord comes down into the back into the electricity now in this particular light we're looking at three different cords and that to me is a no-no light fixture worked out well for me but one cord beats having three cords hands down aside because it brings one cord the t5 light fixture it also brings a controller and that it was also very appealing to me so that's one of the reasons why i decided to go with this light fixture this light fixture is also sold in the in the compact fluorescent type and so you can choose whichever one you want and i could just tell you i'm extremely happy with it however there are some things that I need to get used to when it comes to this light fixture. The lighting itself, I love it. And even when the 10,000 Ks go off, the actinics kick in. I love it as well. But the moonlights, the moonlights, it has a lot of moonlights. It has like eight little bulbs for a 36 inch. It's just really bright. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to give you an illustration real quick of what the lighting is going to look like when once I turn off each bulb so first we're gonna get rid of the 10,000 K so keep looking at the video let me see how I can, okay there it is so I've just shut off the 10,000 K and we're looking at the actinics now and this is pretty much what your tank is going to look like when the actinics kick in now these are the actinics now we're going to get rid of the actinics and i'm going to show you how bright the moonlights are i mean it's ridiculous it looks pretty much like this except less brighter and I, i've i've read a lot of reviews online and people say that the you know the the, the fishes don't really mind but I, I i have to yet find out for myself so let's go ahead and remove the actinic lights okay those are the moonlights ladies and gentlemen that's how bright it's gonna look it looks awesome and you know I'm gonna tell you this I don't know if it's because I need to replace the bulbs or to get more of a fluorescent type color but compared to the compact fluorescence actinics I could tell you that the actinics made the greens and the reds sort of fluoresce more and and it, and it actually made the uh the say the candy cane coral looked a lot more um you know fluorescent i guess so i don't know you know i've read that uh t5s do not give uv uh, you know and when it comes to the output let me go ahead and turn these lights back on So there are the actinics and from the actinics we're going to go into the 10,000 K and here we go there are the 10,000 K's and this ladies and gentlemen has been T5's versus compact fluorescence it's your choice Personally, I really like the light fixture. I'm going to continue to use it and I will give a future review just on the light fixture itself and how well it works. So stay tuned for that video. Other than that, I got a lot more videos to do, people. If you like my video, subscribe, um, rate, comment, questions, concerns. Feel free to uh, voice your opinion. And with that said, I'll be more than glad to answer your questions and reply to your opinions. But with that said, this is New York Stilo signing out. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Peace.